Hey everyone, Dave here. I'm just at my camp again. I'm hanging out with Molly. We've got a few hours to kill out in the woods. Um, it's been really hot recently and I haven't had a chance to get back to my camp for a few weeks and the forest has totally changed. Uh, the, you know, the big leaf maples are, are totally <laughs> shadowing the forest now. All the leaves are out and you know, the water source that I was using previously has all dried up already. So um, things are a little interesting now, but regardless, it's still really nice to be out in the woods. And today, all I'm gonna be doing is like making a fire and cooking up some food. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And first things first, I'm just gonna get the fire going. And we're gonna do a really simple fire build today and use some general bushcraft skills and just hang out and all that sort of stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video. Previous times out, I had stashed a bunch of twigs and split up a bunch of firewood. So I don't really have to do too much fire prep today. The uh, mosquitoes are definitely out and I'm just gonna do something really simple today. So I'm gonna be using um, some fat wood and a ferro rod. So we're just gonna build our fire lay, get that going, wait for that to go down to coals. And then um, I'm gonna be cooking bannock in a pan and we're gonna add some stuff to the bannock. It's gonna be a little bit of a, I don't know, kind of like a bannock bread uh, cooked in with some uh, trail mix and some apple slices. I'll show you what I have planned when I take out my food bag and everything like that, but I wanna get this fire going right now. These bugs are starting to annoy me. And uh, yeah, I mean, it feels like this is May and it's starting to feel like summer already. So hopefully I can get out a few more times before a fire ban or something like that happens. Okay, so I just have a few curls of fat wood on this base that I've already made. Try to just hit it with my ferro rod. I'm just gonna get more of the fat wood going. Take my time. Bundle of twigs. And I'm just going to put some of the split firewood that I had stocked up on top of this. Oh, the bugs are annoying. <laughs> I'll just continue to build it up a bit. Log cabin style. Should be plenty enough wood for uh, just a simple cooking fire. Probably way too much wood for a simple cooking fire. <laughs> oh well. So now we just have to wait for the fire to burn down and get some coals. And uh, today I'm, I'm wearing a, a mic on me and uh, I thought to maybe try to improve the audio a little bit that I'd go online and buy a mic off of Amazon. So let me know if you think the audio is an improvement. Um, I have, I honestly haven't tested it. This is like the first time that I'm actually testing the mic out. So uh, let me know, let me know what you guys think about it and uh, whether or not it's improving the audio. It's a little bit annoying because it is corded. So I have it hooked up to my phone <laughs> and the, the cord is long, but it, it gets in the way from what I've noticed already trying to film with it. So um, I got to let this fire die down for me to uh, cook on it, but uh, I'm going to shoot another video and uh, upload it separately. And a few of you guys had asked me how I hang my bear bags. So I decided, you know what, I might as well just do a video. I, I thought about showing it on a solo overnight, but I might not get around to doing an overnight for a couple weeks or something like that. So I decided uh, that I have time right now. I might as well just show, it's fairly simple, but uh, some people have questions about it. So um, I'm gonna go and shoot that video and then um, come back and hopefully we'll have a nice fire to cook on. Oh, 
I'm still waiting for my fire to die down. So I'm just gonna cook up some apple slices. Sorry, cook up, cut up some apple slices. Now, it's been kind of crazy since, um, you know, I released uh, my solo survival video roughly about a month ago. And um, in that time period, I have doubled my subscribers from when I released the solo survivor video, I had around 1500 subscribers and now I have over 3000, close to like 3300. So um, it's quite a big jump for me. Um, I didn't really expect, uh, you know, I thought that I would probably get some decent views on the survival video, but I didn't really expect uh, all the comments and the amount of subscribers that I got is pretty cool. So um, I'm pretty stoked on that and I'm glad all of you guys that have joined joined in on the fun. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, a lot of you guys found my channel and were like, whoa, like, where have you been hiding type of thing. So, you know, I've almost had the channel up for like two years and uh, it's definitely the biggest spike that I've seen in, in views and in subscribers. So that's pretty cool. I have plans to do some uh, overnights and things like that uh, when I get the chance to. In the meantime, I'll just try to shoot some videos to keep you guys interested and things like that. Um, I really want to do like a couple day trip or something like that, but uh, I can only do so much with work and everything like that too. So uh, I do have, I've got some new gear that I want to try out and that should be fun to see how that goes. Yeah, regardless, I'm really happy about all the new subs, that's really awesome. I appreciate all the comments and everything like that. I got a lot of positive feedback since uh, posting the solo survival video. Okay, so my idea for this bushcraft cooking video. Um, I have some uh, bannock made up in here, already pre-made. You know, I already put the water in it and stuff like that, but I added also some other things into this. I put some cinnamon, brown sugar, and a little bit of cocoa powder. So. Uh, the bannock that I'm going to be making today is going to be like a sweet kind of fruity style bannock, not like your, I'm not adding salt or anything like that. So it's kind of like a sweet, savory bannock bread that I'm trying to make here. So with a lot of the cooking stuff, I find that if I pre-mix my bannock before I come out, um, I tend to get a better consistency. Uh, this is a little bit wet, but no, no, it's okay. But, you know, as long as it's not sticking to your hand, your bannock is pretty good, right? I find that if I try to mix my bannock when I'm out, um, you have a higher chance of, like, messing it up. So you can't add more flour if you kind of, you know, mix it up in a plastic bag and that's all the flour that you got. So uh, quite often uh, I try to do it, even though it's a little bit heavier, um, as far as like weight goes, if you're trying to save weight and you're backpacking, I understand taking just flour with you and then mixing water on, on the go, but you just have a less of a chance to make a really sloppy bannock. <laughs> so. One thing I really like about the camp that I have out here is uh, the bird action. Uh, they're really active more active than like most parts of the forest. Uh, I mean, they're always chirping. Yeah, it's a nice apple. <laughs> oh, do you smell that, Molly? Yeah, it's gonna be good. Are you gonna have some? Yeah. <laughs> but I like coming out to a place that has some nice sounds to it, not just like plain noises, <laughs> which this place also does have too. Okay, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, it smells good, I know. So what I'm gonna do is start shoving some of the apple slices into the bannock. Maybe I'll just fold it in. So we got some bannock inside, or sorry, some apple inside the bannock. Now I'm just going to try to put in some trail mix. The trail mix that I have has like dried fruit in it. That's the type of trail mix that I prefer to eat when I'm uh, on the go out in the woods. I like to have uh, dried fruit in it. I don't like having, you know, 
M&Ms and things like that. I don't like the chocolate necessarily, but um, I like putting, you know, just going to the bulk section at your grocery store. And I'll probably get two different types of trail mix there. Some of it will just be like nuts and then I'll look for the one that has dried fruit and mix them together. Get it in some better light here. So there we go. And then I'll flip it over and just kind of shove, do the exact same thing, shove a whole bunch of trail mix on it. Okay, so I got a bit of a, I pulled some, I pulled some coals out of the way and I just got my frying pan and then I'm just gonna put my butter somehow. Yeah. Grease up the pan. This pan was kindly given to me by my mom. She said that I needed to stop using my other little pan and <laughs> use a better pan where I won't uh, have my eggs sticking to the bottom and things like that, so. She went ahead and gave me this one. Might be a little bit messy, but it should be good. Biggest thing is to try not to let it get too hot and burn the bottom. It smells really nice. Yeah, it's gonna be a winner for sure, this one. All right, let's try and flip it and see what we got. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna taste really nice. Here, I'm gonna see if you can get a better sound of that sizzle. Is it so nice? Stop. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to done here. I'm just gonna top this off with some uh, brown sugar. I put this moss on here because the mosquitoes are quite bad and I wanted to make some smoke. So I thought I'd just throw a bit of moss on there to try to create a bit of smoke. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this bannock off by putting a topping of brown sugar and kind of like letting it melt. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm super excited to eat this, not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna try and cut a piece of this. Whew, that is hot. Oh, oh that smells so good though. Well, it's starting to get dark a little bit. It's almost uh, 7.30, but it's definitely get, it's starting to feel like summer. I mean, the days are longer, they, it's pretty hot. I mean, today, today felt like a summer day for sure. The bugs are out, <laughs> lots of mosquitoes. Anyways, let's try my creation now, finally. It's super hot though. Mmm. That's good. Whoops. Uh -uh. Wow. That is really, really, really tasty. Oh, you're sitting like a cook girl. Here you go. It's hot. Be careful. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video and gave you a bit of an idea 
on how you can uh, mix up your bannock. You know, you can make a kind of like a bannock cake, I guess you could call it, you know, make it sweet with cinnamon. It's like a French toast type of deal. Add some uh, trail mix in there and you got a really good meal, especially on the go out in the woods. You can't really beat something like that. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. This day from BC Bushcraft. I'm gonna finish this off camera. Mm -hmm.